United Nations Chief Antonio Guterres urged Russia and Ukraine to agree to a demilitarized perimeter around Ukraine's major nuclear plant. AP correspondent Charles de Ledesma reports. The UN Atomic Watchdog Agency urged Russia and Ukraine on Tuesday to establish a nuclear safety and security protection zone around Zaporizhia. Amid mounting fears, the fighting could trigger a disaster. Rafael Grossi, head of the International Atomic Energy Agency, warns we're playing with fire and something very, very catastrophic could take place days after leading an inspection visit to the plant. At a Security Council meeting, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres likewise demanded combatants commit to halting all military activity around the plant and agreeing on a demilitarized perimeter. I'm Charles de Ledesma. The U.S. military will test launch an intercontinental ballistic missile, an ICBM, Wednesday, adding it has notified Russia in advance. The Pentagon described the test as routine and said it was meant to demonstrate the readiness of the U.S. military's ICBM forces. The United States last month carried out a test of a Minuteman III ICBM, which had been delayed to avoid escalating tensions with Beijing, during a Chinese show of force near Taiwan. Fears are running high on an indigenous reserve in the Canadian province of Saskatchewan after police warned that the remaining suspect in a deadly stabbing rampage over the weekend might be nearby and officers surrounded a house with guns. Police later sent out an alert that it was a false alarm and they had determined the suspect was not in the community, but people remained nervous. At least 15 people died in a landslide in a western Ugandan town Wednesday after the area was battered by heavy rains, the Red Cross said. The disaster in the town of Kasese on the border with the Democratic Republic of Congo has left an unknown number of people missing and wiped out homes. The Red Cross says most of the dead are women and children, adding, quote, response action teams are still on the ground and the rescue mission is still ongoing, end quote. Former Donald Trump adviser Steve Bannon will reportedly turn himself in tomorrow, Thursday, to face new criminal charges in the U.S. state of New York. AP correspondent Julie Walker reports. Steve Bannon says the Manhattan DA has now decided to pursue phony charges against me 60 days before the midterm election, accusing the Democratic prosecutor of targeting him the way the feds did in 2020 when he was accused of duping donors who gave money to fund a wall on the U.S. border. The longtime ally of Trump, who had pleaded not guilty, was dropped from the federal case when the former president pardoned him. So far, the Manhattan DA is declining to comment. A person familiar with the matter who spoke on condition of anonymity says Bannon will turn himself in tomorrow. Julie Walker, New York. And according to a report, names of elected officials and police chiefs were found on leaked Oath Keepers lists. AP correspondent Lisa Dwyer reports. A new report says that the names of hundreds of U.S. law enforcement officers, elected officials, and military members appear on leaked membership lists of a far-right extremist group accused of playing a key role in the January 6, 2021 riot at the U.S. Capitol. The Anti-Defamation League Center on Extremism poured over more than 38,000 names on Oath Keepers membership lists that were leaked. They found more than 370 people that they believe are currently working in law enforcement agencies. The center also identified more than 80 people who were running for or served in public office as recently as early August. Some say that they were never actually dues-paying members. Others say they are no longer members. More than two dozen people associated with the Oath Keepers have been charged in connection with the January 6th attack. I'm Lisa Dwyer. Germany's parliament paid tribute to Mikhail Gorbachev Wednesday, holding a minute of silence for the former Soviet leader who paved the way for German reunification 32 years ago. Flags at the parliament's Reichstag building in Berlin were lowered to half-staff as lawmakers opened the day's session with the tribute. This is one of the first sessions since Gorbachev's death last week. And recapping our top story, the United Nations chief, Antonio Guterres, urged Russia and Ukraine to agree to a demilitarized perimeter around Ukraine.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.